My name is Daniel McMillan. I'm the, the owner of Lost Art Video Games. So I, right now, this is my, all my energy and attention go into keeping the store alive. Um, this is something that I wanted to do, something like this, something, something related to video games and arcade equipment something I wanted to do a long time and this is this is the reality a lot, a lot of people you know it's about every week I get someone that comes in and says to me man this must be so cool you just get to sit around and play video games all day and it is cool but I don't get to play video games all day <laughs> in fact I play less games now than I ever have oh, any time in my life that's just but that's just what it is I mean it's trade one, one aspect of your passion for the uh, ability to pursue another, the ability to create something that you wanted to see exist. So, so now, I'm, unfortunately I'm blessed with some, some good friends that help me keep this thing float, like Jack. Um, so, it was kind of a collaboration with me and, and my partner, you know, we were batting some ideas around and I actually had the idea because I he was picking up an Indiana Jones with a pinball machine at the time and I was like, lost art video games. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah, and so I just I just like the associations and conjured up you know, the idea of like, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, lost treasure, you know, things you know, forgotten knowledge, um, you know, waiting to be discovered. And you know, I, I liked I liked that feel um, as it related to you know, where the arcade gaming scene was today in America. You know, forgot, lost. As others have said probably better than I have before, um, you know, consoles pretty much just murdered the arcade. I mean, <laughs> that's, not, that's not the nice way to say it, but, you know, it used to be if you want to play video games, and get that kind of experience, you had to go to the arcade, you know, like, you just didn't really have, you know, like, home games that looked like the arcade did. Um, it's crazy. So, you know, at that time, it was like, you, if you want that experience, you really had to go to the arcade. And then consoles were kind of like, you know, good enough, you know, when you weren't at the arcade. But now, it's like, you know, the visuals have, like, so far surpassed that, and, um, I think games in general are just now trying to offer like a more long-term and like immersive experience, and I think on some level it's just hard to get that, you know, in, in the arcade where it's it's about making money. So you'll, you know, they want you to keep putting money in this thing. They don't want you to sit there, pay your credit, and sit there and play for hours at a time. Um, so I think because of that, it's just kind of shifted to consoles, um, and you know, I, it's it's kind of sad in its own way. I mean. But, but there are people keeping it alive, there's collectors, there's places like this, so I think there's people that, There's still room in a lot of people's hearts and a lot of people's lives to have both consoles and arcade. I think that if they really only stand in opposition to each other from like a business standpoint, I don't think... You know, I think there's few people that, that hate playing games in the arcade but like playing consoles. Or like playing consoles but hate playing the arcade, you know? Well, I mean, you know, the, the arcade scene is what it is. It's dead and non-existent. People, the home consoles got, you know, games look so good, you know, they, they were just as, you know, it was, there's no longer an appeal um, visually for people, you know, go to the arcade, uh, the wow factor wasn't there, so the money wasn't there, and so, I mean, the, the only reason things like this exist, and they, things like this do exist around the country, but it's because, you know, people who really care about that scene, to do it, to collect the, the equipment and put it out there, um, but they, they don't do it because it's, it's going to make a lot of money because they just can't, there's just not, there's not enough sustained interest, um, and you know, it, the reason our, our case disappeared is just it wasn't making money, the people who were doing it weren't doing it because they, they had a deep abiding passion for Arcades. Uh, some, some of them, some of them cared about and enjoyed, 
you know, game, but it was also a business it's when the revenue isn't there to close up. And so I don't think it's I don't think it's like totally destroyed the social aspect of gaming. It's just uh it's changed it. I don't have a week of my life to devote to Skyrim. I just can't I can't I can't give myself over to that as wonderful yeah. as it may be. Um, I would rather play um, you know, Street Fighter with somebody for half an hour and be thoroughly satisfied with that experience and I can walk away. You know, it's great on like, uh, and I'm not here at night a lot, but you know, like the pinball tournaments or Good Friday night, Good Saturday night, just seeing people at like every game over here, I don't know, that's exciting to me, you know, be like there and look out and see people are, people are enjoying themselves. Format's the same as always, uh, you'll be, the games will be in three or four depending on how it works out. You will only be competing directly against the people in your group. You'll play a three or four person game. First place in each game will get four points. Second place in each game gets two. Third place gets one point. Fourth place gets zero points. At the end of each round, the bottom two people from your group are eliminated. The top two move on. Um, if you get an extra ball, you are not allowed to play it. You just need to punch the ball and let it go, see what happens. If you touch the flippers when your extra ball is going, you are automatically disqualified. Uh, there's, there's, there's enough interest so that you know, someone, someone like myself at least try and, and do something like this and be gratified with, with some, you know, some sort of response. There are people out there who will appreciate it. No one's, no one's going to get rich um, off doing arcade, so you're not going to see a resurgence. But this, you know, luckily there there are, you know, there's collectors and there's enthusiasts out there who remember and care about that sort of thing enough that, that there, there there's a growing presence, albeit small.